This is one mode I've always wanted to play in Halo, but never really borrowed to do it because of how poorly it played. And that is Team Snipers within this game. And the reason why I never bothered to play Team Snipers anything in Halo Infinite is because of the zoom mechanic that was previously in Halo Infinite. It was awful. Like, I couldn't stand it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, basically what happened originally within Halo Infinite, that the way the zoom mechanic worked, that if you zoomed into 10 times zoom, and then got descoped. Well, then, and you go back to zoom in, you'd be put back into 10 times zoom rather than five times zoom, which was completely disorienting. And I just couldn't stand playing it. It would literally make it so I just would not play any sniper mode in Halo Infinite, which sucks because the sniper rifle is always amazingly fun to use in Halo. Oh, oh, no, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, let me get the kill, let me get the kill, no, no! But now that there is legacy toggle zoom in this game, it actually makes sniping actually fun to do. Oh, get out of here, dude. So I thought, what would be the best opportunity to really test out the legacy toggle zoom now within Halo Infinite, then go in and play ranked team snipers in Halo Infinite and see how it actually plays out. How sweaty can snipers really be? Also, I definitely need practice with the sniper rifle in this game because it can be tricky for me to land anything, which is not how it was like in Halo Reach or especially in H2A. I love the H2A sniper rifle just because it was just... You, it was so easy to get headshots. It was amazing. It made me feel like I was actually good at Halo for once. Though playing sweaty snipes might not be the best way to get your skill up in the game. Or maybe it is. I don't know. Oh, we actually hit something. Oh, we did another one. Oh, let's go. I also am playing this on mouse and keyboard, which hitting like no scopes is so much easier on mouse and keyboard. Though you wouldn't be, you wouldn't be able to believe that by watching my gameplay, but trust me, it, it, it is. See, like right there, boom. This guy thirsty me, man. God, get this guy some water. And another one, a ninja? Okay. Let's count that because definitely the best way to get better at any aspect of any game is just to play it a bunch, right? Practice makes perfect and you're definitely gonna get plenty of practice time in with the sniper rifle in ranked snipers. But I feel like it's kind of odd to have snipers be ranked. I think mainly just because, well, I always just kind of found that the sniper play this is always much more of like a casual experience. I will say it does feel extremely rewarding whenever you do land a shot in this game with a sniper rifle. Just like that. Yeah, I've always just kind of felt like Team Snipers has always been kind of like a montage kids haven, right? You get a chance to use a sniper rifle and clip shots for like overkills. It's just, it's awesome. Right? It's too much fun. But people are definitely playing it. It didn't take me very long to find the match right here, even though I think it said like the average wait time was like a minute and a half, but it took me like 30 seconds to get a game. So people are definitely playing. So I touched on this earlier, but I want to kind of go more in depth with it. And that is the ease of use when it comes to the sniper rifles in Halo. Seems like each Halo game has like its own thing that with the sniper rifle that they not quite sure how to actually make it better. There we go. Get that guy out of here. Get that guy out of here. I would say that Halo Infinite sniper rifle might be one of the most difficult sniper rifles to use in the Halo franchise. Call me crazy on that one, but honestly, that's my opinion on the whole thing. You don't see me, buddy. Ha! Now, I thought Halo 3's was the hardest, but no, this, I think this one takes the cake. I think one thing is because of the like the low aim assist that's really in this game, the super small reticle, the fact that it's projectile rather than hit scan. I think also player movement plays a big factor in how the sniper rifle plays out in Halo Infinite. Because at least like in Halo 3, there's a little double there, by the way, that like the player movement in 3 was actually pretty slow, making sniping on control like not too tricky. Like it was definitely something you can manage or work around. I always feel like with like the long distance sniping in this game, I could just never figure out. In arena 4v4 matches, like in rank, no problem. You can snipe just basically like it's hit scan. But when you're playing like big team battle, I get really thrown off. This guy just will just hide in the little corner right there. Come on. Try me. Yeah, that's what I thought. I've always been a big fan of the Halo Reach sniper rifle. It was much easier to use than Halo 3's. Plus, it also looked awesome and sounded awesome. Halo 4's was just kind of weird. I wasn't a fan of the sniper rifle. Get him out of here. H2A is, even though it was probably the one of the best looking sniper rifles and definitely the best sounding sniper rifle. Oh. Yeah, boy. Sniper sound nation was just incredible. It was a little bit on the far too easy side of things. Oh my gosh. Right as I'm saying that this game is too difficult to snipe and I'm just like picking people off. I love it. Are oh, you trying to hurt my friend? Not happening, buddy. 
Not happening. Not happening. That's a killing spree. I did like Halo 5 sniper rifle. I thought that was a good sniper. I thought it was a rather fair sniper rifle, especially compared to the movement they had in that game was kind of insane. So the sniper rifle, I think for that game in particular, worked. Now, if you put like the Halo 5 sniper in Infinite or in Halo 3, that thing would be crazy overpowered. Probably would just be like the Halo 2 anniversary sniper rifle all over again. But let me know in the comments which sniper rifle you think is your favorite in the Halo franchise. Like I said, I'm sticking with Reach as my choice, but there are some other excellent choices out there. Oh, my bad, dude. Yeah, this place is going to be a great opportunity for anyone oh, to get their time in with the sniper rifle to really actually get better with it. Because practice, like practice makes perfect, like I said before. Where did this guy go? I could have sworn I saw him run down this direction. Now he's just not even anywhere to be seen. Oh, there he is. Oh, gosh. I've also learned the worst thing you can do in Team Snipers is to jump if you're jumping you're basically asking to get killed because it just puts you in a super predictable path like i'm doing right here oh gosh there's so many angles to get shot from oh my gosh oh <laughs> though i will say that say hello if it is sniper rifle can definitely be one of the most rewarding sniper rifles ever in halo for how difficult it can be to land shots with it that when you do it just oh feels so good